everyone welcome back to my channel DIY decor today I have a super cute patriotic decoration for you guys to try um, I'm gonna use this board this is just a piece of board I had in my scrap um, pile it's about 35 inches in length and about almost five inches in width but you could totally use one of those long signs from the Dollar Tree as well so this is also from the Dollar Tree. It is one of those Easter signs um, or spring signs. And I'm taking the banner off. And I don't want the bunny. I just want the hat. But I don't want you to be able to tell that there was part of a bunny's body in the hat. So I'm going to score and break apart the head and then some of the arms. But you'll see that I do leave some of that bunny's body there so that we can make the bottom of the hat look like the whole bottom of the hat. Um, so I'm gonna take the paper off. You don't have to take the paper off. You could paint the other side if you wanted to, but I thought when I made this sign that I may do like a two-sided sign. So one side would be patriotic. It's gonna be like a Uncle Sam gnome, and then the other side, maybe I could do a scarecrow or a witch. But like I said, you, you don't have to take the paper off. You can, um, just paint the other side so after I get the paper off I do give it a good sanding and then you'll see that those corners down there that we cut I try to sand those off to make them more rounded and then I give it one good coat of Waverly chalk paint color plaster and I knew that I wanted the hat to be striped red and white so I'm gonna take my painters tape and make some uh, vertical lines. I try to make them wide at the top and then more narrow as it goes down towards the bottom. And then um, I wanted to start the stripe in the center there red and then go out from there red, white, red, white, red, white. Now I don't measure these. I totally eyeball it as well. So after I get my um, stripes the way that I wanted. Um, I mix up some paint. This is Waverly paint. It's not chalk paint. It's just regular acrylic paint by Waverly. It's red. And then I've got some burnt umber and I just mixed the two colors together. I didn't want a bright red. I wanted a more dull, a little bit darker, almost like a brick red color. And then um, after I get the paint mixed the way I like it, I just begin painting the negative spaces on the hat. And I do end up giving this two coats. And then right before it's completely dry, I began taking the tape off. And um, I decided that bottom part of the hat, I wanted that completely red. So I gave um, it one complete coat, let it dry, and then gave it another coat so that the whole bottom was red. So now back to my board, we're going to work on the body of my Uncle Sam gnome and I find the center of my board and I knew that I wanted the bottom part, the pants to be a little bit longer than the torso. So I just go down below my mark a few inches and then draw my line. So now I'm going to take this sheet of paper and I just fold it in half and I just make a angular cut. And I can use this as a template. So I'm just going to trace a little triangle that I've drawn. And this is going to be the part of our Uncle Sam's shirt that's showing. And I'm going to use that plaster colored paint and fill it in. So the rest of that will be his suit coat, and that's going to be this blue. This is a true blue by Apple Barrel Paint, and again, I do mix a little bit of the burnt umber in with this paint, and then I'm going to paint that top part in this color blue. And again, I give this two coats.
So now the top part is painted. It has two coats. Um, it is dry and I want to finish that suit jacket because I want him to have like these angular edges in the front. So using my straight edge, I'm just marking um, the angles, angles downward and then I'm going to paint those blue as well. So now it's time to do the bottom part or Uncle Sam's pants. And again, I'm not measuring this. I am just eyeballing it. But I did know that I wanted the center of the bottom part of the board to be a red stripe. And then I was going to work my way out from there. So I'm just laying my painter's tape down to get all my vertical stripes. And then I began painting. So you'll see there is blue painter's tape down in the center. So again, I wanted that red. So I am starting with the white. And um, this is again the plaster. And I'm going to paint the negative spaces white. And I do give this two coats. And then once the paint is almost dry, it's still pretty wet, I take the tape off. And then I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. And I'm going to go back and work on the hat. So this is one of Dollar Tree's tag signs. I got this last year. Um, it has these little metal stars on it. There's four metal stars. You'll see me pop off two. But I'm actually going to use three for this project. So I have this ribbon. It looks like denim. It's not actually denim. It's really, really thin, but it does have a denim look to it. I think I got this bowl from the Dollar General. I'm not sure. I've had it for several years now, but I'm just going to take and we're going to glue a piece right across the hat. So you'll see I'm putting the glue on the side, not on the back, because again, I'm thinking I may do another sign or another uh, type of holiday character on the other side. So I just glue from the side. And then I'm going to take those three metal stars and glue them down to our little band that we added. Now I want to distress it. I want to age it up some. So using this sponge brush and burnt umber um, by Apple Barrel, I'm just going to sponge on the edges of the stars. And then I also go over the denim looking band that we added. and also the rest of the hat. Right, back to the pants to finish up those stripes. I'm now ready 
for the red stripes so I'm putting painters tape over the white stripes and then I go back in and paint the negative spaces with the red I'm using that same mix of red and burnt umber And you'll see when I'm painting, I switch my brushes constantly. It depends on the size or the angle, the shape or whatever, but I'm constantly switching my brushes. Um, also, I did give this two coats as well. And right before it's completely dry, I began pulling up the painter's tape to reveal our red and white striped Uncle Sam's pants. And any little bleed through that I had, I did go back and try to touch those up. So this jar, this is also a sign from the Dollar Tree I got last year, but it had a much bigger metal star on it. So I popped it off as well, and I'm going to use this on the um, suit jacket. Now this is a soda tab uh, from a, a canned soda. It's one of those mini sodas, so one side was, like, there was two holes, and one side was really small, one was bigger, so I ended up cutting it at the one end that was small. A regular soda can, maybe it would have worked better, I don't know, but this is what I found, or I, actually I saw, um, my husband walked past me, he had a soda, and I was like, hey... Let me have that tab. So he popped it off and gave it to me. Um, this was just going to be his little buckle. Now, I think this would have looked perfectly fine without it, but it was just like a spur of the moment idea. So that's what I did. Um, anyways, I'm using this faux ribbon as his belt. And you'll see that I just laid it on there and traced the angles of his suit jacket and then cut it. And then now I'm just gluing it down. And I take that burnt umber and I do some more distressing on the pants and the shirt and the jacket. So as I previously said, this is an Uncle Sam gnome. So I want him to have a... Um, full white beard so I'm going to use this dust mop head from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to size it up and cut off what I don't want and this stuff sheds oh my goodness when you cut this it's like never ending fuzz constantly falling off of it so it made um it made a big mess After I get it the length that I want, because I didn't want it to cover up his whole entire shirt, uh, his shirt or his coattails, um, I do end up gluing it down. And then there is that big star, and I'm going to place it right up under his beard. That is why I didn't want the beard to be so long, because I wanted you to be able to use this star, and I wanted you to be able to see the star. And now we're going to glue that hat on. And I'm going to glue the hat right onto the uh, dust mop or the beard, I guess we can call it now. That's not going to give it a great adhesion. So I do go in and reinforce it with some Jenga blocks in the back.
Now, these are the actual Jigga blocks. Um, someone gave this to me. They know I like to craft, so they gave me a um, uh, a bunch of the Jigga blocks. But you could use the ones from the Dollar Tree and just kind of double up on them as well. And our gnome needs a nose, so I'm just taking one of these wooden beads. Um, I got these in a pack from Amazon, and I'm going to leave it in its raw form, add some hot glue, and stick it right up under the bottom of the hat. And here is our Uncle Sam gnome. I think I have said this before, but I am a total sucker for gnomes. And I think this one is just super adorable. You guys let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.